SMK and I am here with another stitches and stencils layout for you guys today. I am also combining this with my Kit Conspiracy Kit for week four, which is the Pretty Little Studio Sunkissed Collection. Now I have these two photos that um, are of my daughter at a zoo and she is um, checking out the seal in one photo and feeding a parrot or, or a, a macaw, I don't know what it's called you guys, um, in the other photo. So I'm going to be using the yellow plaid paper as well as this floral piece and then I pulled out a paper that looks white but it's actually, um, I think it's called, uh, it's not colonial white anymore but French vanilla or something like that from close to my heart. I don't think they offer it anymore because I tried to get some more and um, didn't see where it was available. So anyways, I'm also going to be using some Distress ink. I have uh, Marmalade something, Mowed Lawn, and I think Mermaid Lagoon. <laughs> I apologize. Um, but I just did show you guys the names. I have a title picked out. I'm going to be using these um, kind of dark leaves um, from Some Assemblage Required, but not... They're, I don't. I think they'll work. I really do. I'm also going to try to bring in some of these uh, beautiful yellow. I think they're called Sunbeam film strips by 49 and Market. And then, of course, I have already picked out all of the embellishments that I would like to use on the page. I haven't. I didn't pick out all the flowers to use, but I haven't really put them in my bowl because they are only copy paper. I have not received my Daisy die cut florals yet or my um, lemonade dictionary stickers um, yet uh, just because Pretty Little Studio is having printing issues. You guys, um, I, I don't want to say that in every video, but just know that all of these layouts were created with the copy paper um, knockoffs because I wanted the representation there. Um, but as soon as they arrive, um, I, I promise they will be mailed out, you guys. I absolutely promise. Okay, so I'm cutting down my papers to use on this beautiful um, layout that I'm going to be creating. So I've just got a, a couple strips and squares um, going on. I didn't want to overpower my paper, especially when I'm going to be doing a lot of stenciling. So the first thing I do is try to figure out where I want all of my elements and then I'm going to be doing the tracing because I don't want to accidentally make my stenciling too small and then I don't see it and then I, I don't have it, right? I, I All that effort went to no, nothing. I forgot to share with you guys my stencils um, and they are the close to my heart stencils. Um, Close to My Heart does the 6x6 six stencils in a 12x12 12 12 format, and what that means is that on a 12x12 12 12 sheet, you get four different stencils. I think that that's pretty cool, um, but I've cut mine up so that way I um, don't have to um, keep using them um, as a 12x12, 12 12. so I, I, I prefer to have and work in the smaller 6x6 um, six six format, so I did cut all of mine up. So I'm going to go ahead and take the um, spiced marmalade as well as the mermaid lagoon. And I have a blender brush for each one. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, dab on some color. And I chose my colors based off of the florals that are in that gorgeous uh, floral paper. And then I'm going to take mode lawn, which is the green, and use a, um, a leaf stencil on top of my grid stencil. So um, that way I have the grid in the background and the leaves in the foreground. And I'm doing some light leaves, some dark leaves, um, and just randomly here and there. Um, it has, I want to say this stencil has three or four different leaf sets. So small, medium, large, and extra large, and then a couple individual leaves to choose from to, to help fill in gaps and whatnot. So uh, I, I just, to be honest, I forgot I had this stencil until I went to go put my stencils away. And then I realized, oh, these are perfect. <laughs> I can use these stencils for my stitches and stencils layout and it absolutely works really well with my daughter trying to feed a cute little bird um, and then I went ahead and I threw in the other photo because it's the exact same zoo that we are at um, I believe we are in California and um, it's the zoo in Long Beach I want to say um, and so we um, 
you know, I just threw it in because they were just two adorable photos of my daughter interacting with the zoo. Um, and she's super, super young. Um, and why I haven't scrapbooked these photos yet, I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it, it was perfect that I didn't. All right. So now that all my stenciling is done, I am going to go ahead and, um, put my layout back together. I did accidentally, um, go to, <laughs> I stuck my brush. Um, I went to go put my brush back and re-ink it. And I accidentally, um, started rubbing on top of the blue ink. Um, yeah. So I wanted to rub that off before, uh, I put it away because I would have never remembered and it would have been a green top. That would have not been cool. All right. <laughs> so I pulled out a couple um, film strips that I really wanted to use um, on this layout. I just think that it's uh, a perfect yellow for this collection. And then in the meantime, I also decided to use the packaging for the film strips because um, that's, uh, that's my thing nowadays, you guys. I'm using packaging more than I am using actual paper. Thanks, 49 and Market. I appreciate it. Now, it's not a true 12 by 12, which I am a-okay with because in the end, um, I don't actually end up using a 12-inch strip going up and down my layout in any way. So I'm going to tear off about a quarter of an inch on both sides, give or take. Um, so that way I have about a half an inch gap between the top and the bottom of, um, of my whole layout. And then I'm just going to scuff up the edges of the, um, just the two long sides because I've got ripped edges on both ends. So I only used my edge distressor on the long sides. And then I'm not going to put my, um, my film strip or this, uh, border punched uh, packaging on perfectly straight. I did not want them to be absolutely pristine. Um, I just wanted it to make it look like they were, um, you know, roughed up edges um, per se. And I didn't plan it. So of course, here I go covering up my, um, my stenciling already because I did not know that I was going to do this until I started pulling elements for my layout. So I did scoot it over um, to the left, uh, the, this strip over to the left a lot more than um, um, I intended because I didn't want to cover up what my stenciling that I have on the right. Um, so once I laid my photos down, I realized I'm missing something. So I want to put on a white border around my photos, but I also want to pop these up. So it looks like they're laying on top of all the elements as opposed to being a part of all the elements, if that makes any sense. I have to sneeze you guys and it's not letting me. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Uh, so anyways, I did want to add a white border. So I just went and picked out a scrap of white border that I had hanging around. Um, I always have scraps of white paper. Um, from miscellaneous projects. So um, I just grabbed what I had. I don't even know what brand it is or anything. And I'm going to scuff it up as well just to add um, to the rest of the layout. Now my stitching on this is going to be very minimal, but uh, it I, I think it adds to my layout. I, I really do. Um, and I do end up sharing with you guys um, when I get to that part. Uh, I do end up sharing with you guys on plain white cardstock so you can see what the stitching is. Um, and then hopefully you can see it a little better in the lay on the layout um, in the close-ups. So um, so I am going to go ahead and um, pop up my photos just on this chipboard uh, leftover bits. I do end up, uh, I am almost out of the chipboard leftover bits, you guys. I'm so stoked because I don't think I'll do this again. I thought it was a good idea at the time, but it's time consuming um, <laughs> for one. Um, and for two, it's irritating that I have to glue both sides because again, it, the chipboard is not very sticky, even though it's supposed to be um, adhesive backed. It's not sticky at all. Uh, I don't know if it's just because of the warehouse that they that they store them in and it um, deteriorates the stickiness or the effectiveness of the adhesive faster. I am not really sure, uh, to be honest. So 
Um, I do love my larger photo. Uh, I don't mind leaving it larger because you can see my three boys. They are enthralled with whatever it is that is in that tank. And then there's my daughter just looking in the totally opposite direction at whatever her little mind caught was interesting. Um, I have no idea. It could, it, it could just be the fact that when the seal passes the tank, it splashes the water up, you know, and, and causes the waves in the water or causes the water to rock back and forth. That could be what's interesting her. Who knows? Um, but I just really do love that photo of her, you know, being different of her not following the crowd. Um, that is my daughter to a T and this photo definitely speaks volumes for that. Um, because, she's not following her brothers and she never does. I, I, and I just love that about her. I really, really do. So I'm going to split my garden ticket in half because one says a garden ticket and then the other one says something else, but I can't remember what it says at this time. Um, I do know that it's in the close-ups, um, if you want to read it. Um, but it is, it does say something really cool. I did want to use both of my bird, um, uh, postage stamps, but I felt like they were both looking in, I, I just, I don't know. I felt like they were both not helping each other, um, competing with each other or whatnot. I do want to use that larger bird, that full size bird down at the bottom as well. I'm not sure if it's going to make it on the layout. Um, but I do know that both of the stamps don't. So for my title, I'm cutting apart um, what uh, whatever was on the bottom of life and rearranging the words. So it's going to say sweet, simple life instead of um, life. I think it said life is simple or life, something like that. So I, I didn't want it to say that because life is not simple. Um, that is for sure. Or did it say the simple life? I don't remember anymore. Um, but I do like sweet, simple life. Um, uh, because you know, for her it is, it it's, I don't know. Every time I see these pictures and her just doing her own thing, that's, that's it. She's so sweet and she makes life sweet. Um, in, in all honesty, she is a doll. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to say I'm not being biased at all because she's my daughter, but, uh, she is a doll. So um, I'm going to go ahead and yes, my leaves did darken up this layout quite a bit. Um, I was hoping that they wouldn't. I was hoping that um, because they're acetate-ish, um, they're, they're like a clear sticker, but I leave the backing on them. I don't actually use the sticky part. Um, and I, I was hoping that if I added them to the brighter background, it would have brightened them up, but it really didn't. It actually darkened the whole layout, which I am A-OK -okay with. Um, and so I'm going to be adding all of these floral bits in between all the layers of leaves, again, in order to help lighten them up and, and lighten the fact that they're so dark. Um, it, yeah, it, it, it served its purpose. Yes and no, um, it didn't. <laughs> but I do end up liking the way that the layout looks. I don't add in as many of these little flowers as I wanted to. Um, but I'm hoping when I get the uh, real flowers in the, the actual product um, and not these knockoffs, um, that the, knock, the real product will help uh, with that because my printer isn't um, a quality printer. I just use it for work and, and printing off receipts and things like that. Um, and so the colors I know aren't as bright as this entire collection. So that does dull it down just a little bit. So when I add the flowers in for real, I'm hoping that um, that will help um, help with the darker flowers. I really do hope that. Um, so anyways, I am popping some things up and then other things I'm gluing directly down. Once I get my flowers glued to my leaves, then I will pick the leaf up and put the glue right behind where the flower is because again, they are see-through leaves. Um, and so I don't want the glue to be seen through, um, uh, you know, like you do with acetate or vellum and things like that. I'm not really sure if it will, but I don't want to take that chance either. So once I get a good cluster of flowers going on, um, on my layout, then I pick the leaves up and I will glue up underneath them. Um, so that way the glue, the leaves will be adhered, um, to the paper as well. So I am almost done with the gluing of the leaves. I'm sorry. 
uh, and I do want to add a few of the butterflies down. I think that they are sweet as well. And here's where I decided I'm going to I'm going to add the bird. I I really do want that bird because the the picture the bird is really dark in the picture. You can't really see it unless you're looking for it. Um, but it is part of not really part of the story, but the bird is in the picture. So. All right, so I brought out my sewing machine, and here is where I sew the stitch that I'm sewing on just plain white cardstock, so that way you can see what the stitch is. And what it is, is it's a wavy flower. Um, so it's going to do a wave, and then every so often in the wave is a cute little flower. And I thought it was a perfect touch for this particular layout. Well, where I sewed it on my layout, you really can't see it unless you're up close and personal to the layout. So that's why I decided to just do a plain piece of white cardstock first um, and then stitch it um, on my layout so that way you guys could see what the stitch actually looks like. So here I'm showing you guys the close up of the stitch in hopes that you guys can see it, but again, not really. Um, you, you guys really can't see it, but I, I was hoping so. Um, and then maybe in the uh, close ups of the photos you guys can see it so in the close-up photos um, you guys can see it but um, as for that that is my layout that I have for stitches and stencils um, stitches and stencils is a series that um, Sandy and Janet came up with in the middle of the night and then decided that I was gonna do it too and uh, so far I am having a blast I am loving um, using my stencils. I love my stencils, you guys, but they are definitely one of the products in my layout that is well neglected unless I have a reason to use it. Like, um, like I have a class that, that has asks me to use my stencils or I have a mixed media project that, um, you know, I'm copying somebody that used a stencil or the recipe says stencil. Um, those are the only ways that I remember to use my stencils. If not, I they just out of sight, out of mind. And it's just the way that my scrap room is set up. I have them in books so I can flip through them easy and keep them well protected. However, because they are behind closed doors, they're not readily seen or readily used. So it's just one of the things that I end up doing. All right, um, I have both of their channel links down below for Sandy and Janet. If you guys don't mind going and seeing how they are participating in Stitches and Stencils this month, we do it uh, the fourth Saturday of every month. So if you guys wanna hang out and join with us, that would be awesome. I would love to give a shout out if you guys are. All right, thank you so much, and I will check you guys all later. Bye. <music>